there everyone welcome back to my channel uh, this is Rashawn from coffee plans and flip-flop tans uh, today I'm going to plan out the month of June and wow I cannot believe that we're already here but also I'm very thankful for it as a teacher at the end of May I am exhausted so we're gonna plan out uh, this next month so come along with me <music> Okay, so I will be using my Erin Condren Life Planner. I have the vertical. Um, right now, she is in a vegan leather cover. I'm having a whole hard time getting it to close up. I mean, she's thick at this point. So um, I'm gonna take her out just for this plan. Um, let's see. I'm gonna grab the leather part here and just kind of slide right out okay close this part up and set it aside okay so i am going to be using a any month kit from adorably amy designs um it's called an any month kit because it doesn't have the months here um, i don't have an actual june kit so i thought that this would be great my kids are super into harry potter right now um and you know, we've been watching a lot of Harry Potter at the house and Fantastic Beasts and all that, so I thought this fit. And then for my monthly script, I'm going to use the sheet from Lexi Kylie Designs. I also brought out some washi that I thought went well. I mean, it's June and it's really hot and sunny outside, so I'm going to go with this yellow theme. I'm not sure if I'm going to use all of these. These are all Simply Gilded, but I have them here at my disposal um, to see what happens. So, without further ado, let's open this up. Okay, let's see. June. Wow, it's June already. I'm almost at the end of this planner. Um, I'll probably plan through June in this planner and then move over to the vertical or the hourly. Still haven't made up my mind um, for EC that I purchased, um, I might even take a break from actual weekly planning and go more to a daily list making type of plan for the summer. Um, it's still up in the air. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do. So let's see how this goes. Um, so this is an older kit. For any of you who've been on my channel for a while, you know I always flip this upside down. It just kind of helps. Um, this is an older kit, so we're going to have to measure the size here real quick. Still fits. All right, that'll be perfect. And since this is a dark sticker, I don't think I'm going to need to wipe this part out. So I'm just going to go here. All right, got that side. Okay, this one should be just about the same, but I'm gonna turn it this way so I can get to this line. All right, you can hear my daughter humming over there. She's working in her own planner. So, all right, so I've got that part. Then down the side, do I have a notes? I have these little like notes trackers down the side, but I think for this month, I'm just gonna leave this part open um, what do we have over here? We have two open boxes here at the bottom, so I'll put this deco there. That's cute too. Oh wait, before I put this down, how many do I have here? I have three. What do I want to do? Okay, hold on, changing my mind because I have three there. Um, and I only have four deco boxes here but I could put some extra little Harry Potter deco. So I could do two on each side or I could do three in one. I think I like the idea of three and then one down there. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so um, if you're new to my channel, um, welcome to watching me be very indecisive and changing my mind over and over. It's just kind of how, how it happens. Um, but in the end, it works out. All right. And then this 
last one here. All right. Okay, and then this one, I'm gonna go, I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do it on this one. I'm gonna put that one there. And then we'll see what I end up using the rest of this space for. I'm sure I'll use it for something. All right, so, so far with this kit, really I have just used the, the header washi and this washi. Um, and I still have all of these boxes and icons and things. I am going to go ahead and put in all of these date covers and I will, I'll speed this up so that it doesn't take forever. So I got the date dots in, but I'm here looking through my sticker binder that has all of my Harry Potter stuff in it. Because for a while I did a lot of collecting. Um, so I found this transparent sticker, and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it here. Um, it's going to take up a little bit of room on my calendar, but you know what? I don't care. And I think it's going to look real cute. So as long as I can peel this off without ruining it, that's always the trouble. Let's see. There we go. Got it. Okay. So what I want to do with this is I want to bring it all the way to the edge of that line. Now, question is, do I want to go over the 18? I think I'm going to pull up this 18. Okay. And I need to white out this part. The 25 is going to be fine right there. There we go. And then I'm going to put the 18 back down right where it was. Awesome. And let's see, did I have a little bit on the edge? Yeah, there's a tiny little bit of the clear sticking off the edge, so I'll just trim that like that and call it good. Okay, so that kind of filled up that side. I like how that looks. Um, I put this part back with the rest of the gold ones. Okay. So it kind of fills up that space a little bit. I can still write some lists here and see if the light can catch it. Adds a little bit of fun to it. So, okay. Now I'm gonna come open this up. The month. So this is June. Okay, I'm gonna put this one. I can't get it off. Oh, stickers are giving me trouble today. There we go. Alright, and I'm going to set June. I think I'm just going to go kind of right there. Alright, so, so far the base is done. I like it. Okay, so let's get into some of the plans that are coming up. We have, starting in June, the kids have testing. 
of course, for the end of the year. Um, so I'll go ahead and put those in here. Uh, I have, I'm gonna do the, I'll do the black line down at the bottom. Um, my son is in fourth grade, and so he's gonna be doing the end of grade testing. Um, my daughter does not have to do that testing this year. They just have like their interim check-ins, check whatever they call it, at that grade level. So um, I do have that for testing. What I found is my decaf testing stickers that I actually made for work, and I'm going to cut off the testing portion and use that. So, and I'll put it here and then right in the rest. And go yellow on that. So on the first day, they have like this Hollywood star thing that they're doing. Um, and it, it's kind of cool. They get to, you know, dress up in their fancy clothes and take a picture like they're on the red carpet because they finished first grade and it's kind of cute. And then on this day, they're going to do like a little carnival. So we're just going to go every day. <laughs> and then um, on, let's see, this day is like a, um, it's not a pajama day. What was it? Um, oh, they're going to build a car kind of thing. Um, so I don't think I'm going to put it on there because that's not something I have to get her ready for. But, um, so this one's like a, yeah, the, did I say that wrong? I'm looking, I'm putting them on the wrong day. Okay, so no, this one is the carnival. This one is the beach day. This one is like they're building a car because on this day, on the 6th, is the movie day. And then this day is the last day. So let's put this one so I don't get myself confused anymore. So what happens when it's the week doesn't start on Monday. Um, here, my son has his class party, so I want to make sure that one's on there. And then here, that works better. I don't want to do all of them. I don't think I need the party sheet, but that's her movie day. And I don't necessarily have one that says movie day, but you know what I do have? I know in another binder, I have like a little reel or something that I could fill that in with. Or let's look at these icons here on the actual kits. Um, no. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put like this little Harry figure here for William's testing. And we'll put it here too. Hey. No, not that pen. Do you need a black? Mm -hmm. Just like a regular black? That's a blue. Here. And black. Alright. Um. Okay, back to this. So I have the testing, I have the end of the day things. Um, I pulled some more of these to try to fill in what's going on. And these are just a bunch of little Harry Potter stickers that I have. Um, so maybe I'll use these instead of the scripts. So last day of school is on the 7th. All right, so the 10th, on the 10th, and there's a birthday. All right, what color? We're gonna go with yellow. All right. Very special birthday there. Okay, you know who you are if you're watching. Okay, and then on the 11th, I have 
have a graduation party to go to. I know we're all very busy at this time of year with graduations. Congratulations to everybody who is graduating this year. Um, and then, okay, so the 10th is also my last day with students. Um, so I'm gonna add that here. It has been a good year. It's been a long year. Um, but this is when they get to start their vacation. Oops, don't wanna cover up the cupcake. But I still have a teacher work day on this day. So let's see, kind of used up all of my labels there, but you know what, I think I can make up that with, let's see, in here I have in some boxes somewhere, ah, oh, there they are, there we go. gray one. I still have a teacher work day here and I know I have a sticker for that. Um, just have to find it. Isn't that how that always works? them a little too long and that's okay. I'm gonna go like this. Perfect. Okay. So that one's in there. And then I think I'm gonna need a little teacher wizard for that. So do I want to use that teacher wizard? Or hmm, I want to use the cat. Use this one, I think I'm gonna use. I'm gonna go with this one from Sweet Ava's Paper. <laughs> there we go. I like it. Okay. Um, and then let's add some of these in here. So let's put like a Harry Potter, like a. There we go. Deathly Hallows book for the last day of school. And let's see. We're gonna put. All right, kids, last day of school. I'm gonna put, let's see, a yellow one here for them. I'm gonna throw a book right there too. All right, okay, so moving on, we have Father's Day on June 19th. So let's see what we have in these for Father's Day. Did go with some gold. I could do gold again. Um, it's right there in front of me. There it is. Okay. So Father's Day. This is from Jump To It Designs. It's their holiday strip sheet. Um, I got a bunch of them in, in different foil colors just to have them. Okay, and that is on the 19th. Okay, and oh, I wanna stick this on. We're gonna go with a darker one so that we can see the foil. There we go. This is where the washi is going to come in. Which one do I want to do? I think I kind of want to do this one um, with the hollow glitter and stuff and the really bright yellow. Let's see how it looks. 
for our trip. It's gonna be here. Yeah, I think that's gonna be good. It's nice and pretty and it kind of looks just like a border. So I like it, fits well. Okay. So this is gonna be our little, little mini vacation at the end of the year. But before we go on the trip, on the 25th, I have to take the dog to the vet. Well, not to the vet, to the boarding house. So I'm gonna put that here. And this will come down over the top of it and that's fine. And we will put, we're gonna put, uh, I think I'll just write that one in. So, okay. So, and then let's see on the calendar here. And then we'll pick her up on the 30th. So I'm going to go with that same color here on the 30th. It allows us to get home when we get home. And then we'll pick her up here. So she'll have so much fun. She's got a little swimming pool to play in and friends to play with. And it's like, it's like a doggy vacation for her too. So, all right. Um, so yeah, this is the month of June. And I really like the way that it turned out. Um, I'll add the writing details in off camera because, you know, my handwriting isn't that great anyway. But um, I hope you enjoyed this plan with me and have a great June to everybody that is graduating. Congratulations to everybody that is moving on to another step. Um, continue doing that and have a wonderful month. I'll see you next time. Bye.